How's it going, everybody? We are here. We are doing this. We are finally here. We are going to crack this booster box of Cold Hunt. Cold Hunt. Cold Hunt. Cold Home. It's the Viking. The Viking set of Magic Gathering that is out now. All right. Um, you've seen the two pre-release kits that I cracked. Our awesome hits were the two Valkyries. All right. Now we're gonna see if we can get like uh, Vorn Clicks or uh, Isika, God of the Tree, or Tree that the big tree or something cool. I want maybe like. Some cool cars. This thing does not want to open. You see that? You see that? Why are they all mixed up? Why are they all mixed up? All right. Let's see. Well, we're just gonna leave them in in here, <clears throat> and we're gonna crack them like this instead of taking them out. All right. We're gonna go a little faster this time than we had before. All right. No. Oh, we start the day off with Kaya emblem. It looks like we're not going to have to dig through all the commons. We're going to skip the commons. We're just going to look at the uncommons, the rares. All right, so tokens will go here. Lands will go here. Cosmos, Elixir. Awesome. I'm going to keep these separate as well because I think they're awesome. All right. Boom. Boom. Nailed it. All right. That's how we're going to do things. Foils and Mythics go up on top. Foils and Mythics go up on top. Open! 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 Alright, let's see what we're doing here. Let's, let's, let's get it rolling. We've got our token. we got our snow-covered forest. We have blood on the snow. Destroy all creatures. Planeswalkers and return a creature or planeswalker. Convert a mana cost X or less from the graveyard to the battlefield. We didn't read this. We didn't read this. This elixir says, At the beginning of your end step, draw a card if your life total is greater than your starting life total. Otherwise, gain two life. Sweet. We have more yet. Frost. We had the cool version. Alright. We have Bustle Ravager. Which is the wizard, and we have the Hailstorm Valkyrie, which is a angel wizard. Black. Boom. Alright, pack three. What do you, What is going on? Maybe upside down opening. Okay. Ripcating ring. Alright, let's get a lot of those. We got glacial. And oh, we got a foil. Run amok. All right. We got this guy that everybody was tripping out about. Varagoth. Blood Sky Shire. He's Death Touch with Boast, he says. For two, target player searches their library for a card and shuffles the library and puts it on top. So, Vampiric Tutor. Boast, Vampiric Tutor. Uh, sweet. Varagoth. Very, very nice. We got the Owl. We got the bear, and we got the gates with its fill. Cool. Right. Ben says we got it. Cool token. I see. Mana lift. Cool. Swamp. Oh, sweet. Bring the demon. Cool. We got the giant. We got the divine gambit. Exile target creature and opponent. Art Exile target artifact creature or enchantment opponent control that player may put permanent card from their hand onto the battlefield. And this thing. Cool. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, that foretell thing. Alright. We got Sulfur's Mire. We got Tormentor's Hell. Bring it into a rare. Waken the Trolls. Destroy target land. Put target land card from a graveyard. 
Onto the battlefield under their control. So you destroy their land and then you take it. Choose an opponent if they control fewer lands than you. Create a 4 4 troll. I think that's fun. Ooh, Kartura Doom Scourge. I like this art. That looks fun. Look at that coolness. Demon Berserker. When it enters the battlefield until your next turn, creatures your opponent's control attack each combat and attack a player other than you if able. When attacking player creature dies, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Sweet. Avalanche Collar does cool stuff. Fearless Liberator. Creates dwarves. Alright. And the raven. Let's go, Kaya. Let's go, Kaya. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Treasure. I like the new treasure. It's cool. Got a volatile fjord. Bring it in the bring it in this. We got Mythic, we got a mythic! What's it gonna be? It's a 6-6 six, six creature. Ooh my goodness, Vorinclex. That's what we were hoping to hit, Vorinclex. Now we just need to get the Phyrexian text. Oh, so, no, we don't want to be greedy. We got a sweet ass Vorinclex. We got a Vorinclex. Ding, 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 ding. Vorinclex, baby. Put this you just for you. Hmm. Usher of the Fallen. Boast. Create one white human creature token. And the pegmate. Thanks, Kaya. For the Vorn Clex. Super sweet. Let's read what Vorn Clex does. I got excited. What's it say? Trample haste. If you would put one or more counters on a permanent or player, put twice that many on each of those. On, uh, on player instead. If an opponent would put one or more counters on a permanent player, put half that many. Perfect for my green deck. Perfect, perfect, perfect. My big green stompy deck. My big green stompy commander deck that I just made. You gonna slide right in there. Oh look. I just pulled those two Timbles. And now I got the Timble emblem. Perfect Mundo. And we have a rare. Oh, sweet, got a pathway, bro. We like it a pathways, we like it a pathways. We've got the crown, we got this, and the run of flight. Oh, three tables. Three tables. <clears throat> next, next is trash card. Snow covered forest, looking snazzy. And we have the Raven's Warning again. You get a 1 1 blue bird and 2 life. And then, whenever one or more creatures you control with flying, deal combat damage to a player. Look at their hand and draw a card. And then you bring a card in. Alright. We got Ice Blind Pillar. We got Path to the World Tree. We haven't seen this one yet. When Path of the World Tree enters the battlefield, search your library for a basic land card, reveal it and put it into your hand, and then show for your library. Then you pay two mana, a red, white, blue, black, and green. Sacrifice Path of the World Tree, you gain two life, draw two cards, target your opponent loses two life. Path of the World Tree deals two damage up to target, and then you put a two two green bear in it. It's a lot of stuff. It seems fun. You got a replicating ring again. That's fun. Alright, we got our Star Helm Corsair. Whoop. Oh, oh, oh. Next pack. A foyer. Get the swamp. Icebreaker Kraken. This is supposed to be a pretty good one, too. Look at that. It's expensive. Ten and two. However, it costs one less to cast for each snow land you control. So, bring it in the snow islands. Alright, enter the battlefields. Uh. Artifacts and creatures target opponent controls. Don't untap during the first next untap step. Return three snow lands you control to their owner's hand. Return. Oh, you bring three to your hand and then return Icebreaker Kraken to your hand. Okay, that's pretty cool. And he's 8 8. I like him. Fortifying the Tyrite Sword. We haven't seen this. So 1 and 2 says make treasure token. Search the library for a card named Halmar, got a battle or an equipment card. That's fun. Word of Might. So, it's one of those runes. You draw a card, it gets plus one, plus one, and trample. Crush the weak. 
Alright. Let's see. Let's see. We got Tyvar. Tyvar Kel Emblem. Snow covered forest and <sighs> that's pretty. That is freaking Blight Step Pathway. This is the uh, pre release kit promo that we got. Except it's not full art. <sighs> Look at that. That's that's that looks good. We're gonna we're gonna put you up here. Rally the ranks. Yes, I guess so. Yeah, that was just a bonus card in the pack too. Sweet. This you. Oh. Harold, King of Skimfar. We haven't seen this one yet. He's Golarian one. <clears throat> Menace when he enters the battlefield. Look at the top five cards of your library. Reveal an Elf Warrior or Tyvar card from among them. Put them into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your battlefield. All right. Very nice. Let's open a Tyvar pack. All right. Is that Tyvar? That is Tyvar Kel. Maybe uh, this Tyvar pack has Tyvar Kel. Trash card. Snow covered plants. And two Reckless Crew. So, sorcery and it says create X to one dwarf berserker tokens where X is the number of vehicles you control plus the number of equipment you control for each of those tokens you may attach equipment to it we got your blade berserker we got the run sustenance which gives a creature lifelink and we've got the trickster gods heist it's where you trade stuff with people which is awesome we've got another tie bar pack tie bar pack Four tail token, snow covered forest into a Sika's chariot. <clears throat> hmm. It's a four mana on a craft vehicle. And it enters the battlefield, create two, two, two green uh, cat tokens. When it attacks, create a token. There's a copy of the token. So create a tokens with your tokens. And these are key cats. Key cats. That's cool. I like that one. Arnie slays the troll again. Arnie, you troll slayer. Good job slaying trolls. Let's go with another tie of art back. <laughs> Trash card. Woodland chasm. Into a mythic. Oh, man's epiphany, huh? Is this a good mythic? Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. It says, create two 1-1 one, one blue bird creature tokens with flying, and then take an extra turn after this. Hmm. I might just slap this in my extra turns deck. Seems fine. Sweet. Got Usher the Fallen, the Jar Clay Warden, the Changeling that does that, and Ice Melon Power. Cool. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. Treasure Token. Ice Tunnel. That's a cool looking ice tunnel, bro. Good ice tunnel. The ice tunnel. Let's focus on the ice tunnel. It's nice art. I wish it was full art. Into foil ruined crown. Foil ruined crown into Cosmos Charger. Wow, wow, wow. But we have this guy, Cold of Forge Master. We haven't seen him yet. He's Balros. Whenever another token creature, whenever another non token creature. Control dies if it was enchanted or equipped. Return it to its hand. To its owner's hand. Create creature tokens you control that are enchanted or equipped. Get plus one plus one. Fun. Provoke the trolls. Do three damage to any target. If a creature is dealt damage in this way, it gets plus five plus zero until end of turn. Interesting. Glade Warden. Breakneck Berserker. Gets haste. 
Kite pack. Let's do kite pack. Come on, kite pack. Kite pack for kite. <coughs> Excuse me. Of where? Snow covered island. Hinge gate pathway. We take the pathways. I needed this one. It's the blue white one. I want the uh, full art one, but this one will suffice for now. Hinge gate pathway to the mist gate pathway. Very nice. With the runestone, uh, non land permanents in graveyards and battlefields and libraries can't enter the battlefield. Non land permanent cards in graveyards and libraries can't enter the battlefield. Players can't cast spells from graveyards or libraries. Steel and the Doomscar Doom Scar Titan for one. It's the battlefield creatures you control get plus one plus one gain haste and then turn. And it's got foretell for five. Dwarf Berserker Ice Tunnel We got a Foil Uncommon Crazy Lady There's a Crazy Berserker Lady Ooh, Cool Art In Search of Greatness What's this do? Beginning of your upkeep, you may cast a permanent spell from your hand with good mana cost equal to 1 plus the highest bread mana cost among other permanents you control without paying mana cost Hmm so that's awesome. That's gonna go in there. That's awesome. A frost Hunger. Certain frost pyre. Just two damage. Okay. Rune of mortality. Creature has death touch. Cool. <clears throat> next. Next. So, oh, what? We got a dragon. We got a 5 5 dragon to go with that dragon speaker. That berserker. Perfect. Leave this going with you. Boom. So, go for forest into the world tree. That's a spicy card. Enter uh, Spiteful Tap. You can add a forest as long as you control six more lands. Uh, Lands you control have add one mana of any color. Then you add two of each and then sacrifice world trees, search any number of gods, and put them onto the battlefield, and shuffle your library. Very nice. Next one has Ascent of the Worthy. One and two, you choose a creature you control until the next turn. All damage that will be dealt to creatures you control uh, is dealt to that creature instead. Uh, return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. It's under flying, blah 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 blah. Glimpse of the cosmos. Uh, you put the top three cards of your library, put one of them in your hand, the rest of them on the bottom of your library, and anyway, as long as you control a giant, you may cast Glimpse of the Cosmos from your graveyard by paying one rather than its mana cost. So that's pretty cool. And then, oh, Finn the Fang Bear. This one is a cool one that we haven't seen. It's one and a green as death touch. So this whenever you control, whenever a creature you control with death touch deals damage to a player, that player gets two poison counters. A player with ten or more poison counters loses the game. This is a good card. This is a good card. This is very good. I'm gonna keep this separate. I'm gonna put this in the rares just because I want to. Run a short. Hmm. Fin the Fane Bear. I made a death touch deck with that boy as my commander. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Green death touch, but he's my commander. Ooh, that'd be stupid. Can you, is there even enough? I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's just an idea. It's just an idea, you guys. Devil's Trickery. This is eight bucks. This is, if you look at one of my last videos, 
Choose target spell, choose one, two, or three at random. Its controller knows that many cards and excels the top card from the library until not like permanent. It's a very complicated card. It's a red counter spell. Yeah, but when you counter that spell, it's like chaos warp. They mill and then it's craziness. You never know what's going to come out on top. <laughs> Got another replicating ring. We have Cole the Forge Master again. And another path to the world tree. Cool beans. Cool beans. Let's open a Kaya pack. Kaya pack. Just for you. Kaya pack, ladies. So we've only got two. Man. Alpine Meadow. That's the Boros one. Okay. I'm going to go with a common foil. With her crown. Looking pretty cool. Slow roll. Saga. Shadow. Show down how this goes. <clears throat> Excel the top four cards in your library. Until the next turn, you. Until the end of next turn, you may play those cards. So even if they're lands. Whenever you cast the spell, a spell this turn, put a one new counter on target creature you control. That's fun. Shepherd of the Cosmos. Arnie slays some trolls. Oh, we got a Dwarven Hammer. It's an equipment for three. Enters the battlefield, you may pay two. If you do, put it on a dwarf. Cool. Another Augury Raven. It's this guy, Tyvar. Alright, we're at three Mythics so far. It seems like we petered off. We got a couple good rares, that's for sure. Um, <clears throat> there's three of these things in a row. Snowfield Sinkhole. Looks pretty good. Let's see, let's see. Common foil again. Got the Yeti. Yeti spaghetti. Yeti spaghetti. What's it gonna be? It's a rare. Indestructible. Oh god, what? Tyrite Sanctum. I wanna get Turgrid. What's this do? Tyrite Sanctum. My buddy just asked me if I wanted this. Target creature becomes a god in addition to other types. Put a 1-1 one -one counter on it. For in this, Tyrite is to put an indestructible counter on target god. Hmm. That's fun. That's a good card. I like it. Dual Strike. This is a fun card too. Played with this on Arena. You cast your next instant or sorcery spell, converting that cost four or less. This turn, copy that spell. Mm -hmm. So it's like you cast this when you know you're going to do something. So it's like previous copies. Like boom, and then boom. So it's insanity. So it's like copy, 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 copy. And you can foretell it. I think it's really good. Oh, sweet. We have uh, Sabella, the Ice Shaper. Some cool ass art. Look at that. What's really going on? The troll warrior? You create the icy monolith. Very nice. If you draw his helm to the battlefield, you put it make a zombie and you put the helmet on the zombie. Sweet beans. Sweet beans. <clears throat> we got some sweet beans, y'all. Next, sir. Next please. This thing again. Glacial floodplain. Your white and blue. <laughs> We're getting some foils. Oh, he's cutting his head off. Is he cutting his head off? I didn't realize that was doing it last time. I never looked at the art before. He's cutting his nigga head off. We got this bad boy again. The is it? Huh? Battle of Frost and Fire. Does four damage to each non-giant creature and each planeswalker. Scry three. Whenever you cast converted mana spell five or greater, this turn draw two cards and then discard. Ooh ee ooh ee. Port of Carfell. Colossal Plow. Whenever Colossal Plow attacks, add three mana, and you gain three life. Until end of turn, you don't lose mana. Hmm. We got Blizzard Brawl. Choose target creature you control. Target creature you don't control. If you control three or more snow permanents, 
the creature you control gets plus one, plus zero, and it gains indestructible. Then those creatures fight each other. Fight! Sweet. Sweet. We got like 10, 11, 12 packs left, something like that. Uh, two, almost two thirds of the way. Good box. Start again. We got you getting this. I want some cool tokens. Um, what is this? Amherstorm Predator. Back to us until when a Amherstorm becomes tapped. Exile up to one target card from a graveyard and put a 1 1 counter on the Predator. Sacrifice another creature. Gains indestructible until end of turn and tap it. Interesting. Predator Guard Stronghold. Binding of the Old Gods. Story target not land permanent and opponent controls. It's pretty good. Search a library for another forest card. Put on the battlefield tap. Shuffle creatures control gain death touch. It's pretty good. And then your Arcanist. Alright. Open. Flip it. Maybe we open this side. There we go. Oof. Warrior. Snow covered mountain. And reflections of the Jara. Reflection comes in the battlefield. Choose a creature type. Whenever you cast a spell of the chosen type, copy that spell. So, good for your elves, good for your giants. Copy and giants, copy and elves. It's like, what? What? Cardin's Vicious Return. You may sacrifice a creature when we do. Yeah, it deals 3 damage to any target. 2. Each player discards a card. 3. Return target creature card from your gravity to the battlefield. Put a plus 1 counter on it. It gains haste until your next turn. We have Return Upon the Tide, uh, Return Target Creature from your Graveyard to the Battlefield. If it's an Elf, create two 1-1 one, one green Elf Warrior Tokens. It has 4 tell 4. There's that Frostbite card again. Awesome. Well, oh, they don't want to open! They don't want to open! Let's go! Let's go! If you're still with me, I appreciate you hanging around. It's been almost half an hour, 27 minutes. Dragonkin Berserker. Right, it's pretty good. Elfin Bow, Runestone, Doomscar Titan. Sweet. Very sweet. Alright, we've seen that one before. Alright, from here on out, we're basically only stopping for ones that we haven't. Ooh, what is this? Just like this, stuff we haven't seen yet. We have the Surreal Realm Eater. This is, I think, might be our first rare with the showcase art. It's the wolf. Uh, whenever a permanent an opponent controls is put in the battlefield, or graveyard from the battlefield, put a 1 1 counter on the wolf. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, if it has one or more counters on it, you may remove all of that. If you do, XL. Each other non land permanent. We can remember the cost less even the number of counters move this way. That's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. Steel, Titans, and Reaper. Okay. Okay. Let's do this Kai Pack. Let's go Kai Pack. Open it. There you go. Treasure. Arctic Tree Line. That's a cool looking one. Cool looking art. Cool looking art. We have Tron Tundra Fumeral. It's a snow sorcery. Uh, deals four damage for three mana. Deals four damage to target creature or planeswalker. Add one mana for each snow spent to cast until end of turn. You don't lose mana. This is that. so okay. So basically, if you're using snow mana, it's a free four damage. Awesome. Poison cup. Poison the cup, it's three, and this is destroy target creature. This, this spell was foretold, scry two. Very nice. Giant's amulet, I think this is a very good card right here. It's one, but, um, uh, excuse me, when giant's amulet enters the battlefield, you may pay three. 
and a blue. If you do create a 4-4, four, four, blue giant was a creature token that attached giant's amulet to it. Creature gets plus 0, plus 1, and it has this creature as hexproof as long as it's untapped. I might just put this in one of my decks because uh, hexproof is really good. Hexproof is awesome. I don't care who you are or where you're from. Hexproof is freaking sweet because it doesn't die to removal if it has hexproof. There it is. Oh my god. 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 Turgrid. This is the one I was just talking about that I wanted. Turgrid, god of fright. Legendary god. Whenever menace, whenever opponent sacrifice a non token permanent or discards a permanent card, you may put that card f from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. All those discard cards, all that other stuff, dude. You're just taking their stuff and put it under the battlefield under your control. It's insanity. Insanity. Oh my goodness. So good. So good. I'm making this commander deck. What's the backside say? It's Turgid's Lantern. Target player loses 3 life unless they sacrifice a non-land permanent or discard a card. Untap the Lantern. So good. Turgid, God of Fright. Make her indestructible too with that uh with that other land. Boom. Boom. Kaya's Onslaught. What's that do? Target creature gets plus one, plus one. Take gains double strike until end of turn. You foretell for one. It's an instant. Not bad. Not bad for one. Got the old turret. Looks like we've got about two, four, six. About eight more packs. Eight or nine packs. We're getting down to it. We still only got three mythics. We got turret though. But we did pull those two Valkyries. Ooh, we got another another uh, blight step. This is our third blight step. Three different versions so far. Ooh, we have a god of kinship here. Colvori, god of kinship showcase. Well, as long as you control three or more legendary creatures. Uh, Kovori gets plus two, plus four, and has, uh, Vigilance. Tap two in it, look at the top six cards of your library, you may reveal a legendary creature from among them, put it into your hand, put the rest of them on the bottom of your battlefield in any order. So you're looking for legendary creatures. And then it has the Ring Heart Crest. Enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. Uh, you can tap it to add a mana, spend it only to cast creature spell of the chosen creature type. So this is great for your elves deck. Hell yeah. You got the bear spirit, which is awesome. You got the lit yotam. Oh, oh. Oh, this is Harold King of Skimfar. I think we got him earlier. Nope. We got may have gotten a different version, which Enters the battlefield, look at the top five cards in the maybe on Elf Warrior Tyvar card. Yep. Yep. And there's that demon bolt. Alright, double pack. Let's go. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Replicating ring token. Sweet. Uh, ooh. Here's the sanctum. Use this to make this god indestructible. To foil one. So come on, camera, pick up how pretty it is. In foil. It's beautifully centered. I don't know what. Man, some people talking about their stuff's messed up and not centered. My cards are looking good. Double rare pack. This one's looking sharp. Foil rare. Doom scar, huh? Destroy all creatures. This is good. Foretell too. If it's three mana to do that. That's all I'm talking about. That's all I'm talking about. Let's go in my deck too. 
Mm-hmm. Ooh, free to judge of valor. So flying lifelink. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, look at the top three cards of your library. And when I'm in your hand, I must open your graveyard. Beautiful. Very good. Especially for that start. Oh, yeah, that's game for Shadow Mage. When it enters the battlefield, choose one. Each opponent loses X life or X to the greatest number of creatures you control that have creature type in the moment. Or you can you can gain X life or X to the greatest number of creatures you control with the creature type in common. Okay. And then you get your rune of speed. And way down. Way down in the valley. I heard a mighty roar. It was a bush master. We have a troll warrior. I haven't seen this token yet. We got your, uh, is it a volatile fjord? Is it a vo- Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. We got Kaya's Onslaught foil. And creeping in. What is that? Rare. A dwarf. It's a rare dwarf. Runeforge Champion enters the battlefield. You may search your library and a graveyard for a rune card. Reveal it, put it in your hand. If you do, shuffle Search your library this way. Shuffle it. You pay pay one rather than pay the amount of cost for rune spells you cast. So it definitely makes your rune spells a lot cheaper. That's cool. So Boros runes. You want to put your Runeforge Champion. It's definitely set stuff. Nico saw it coming. This is the counter spell of the set. Basically, and I think it's pretty good. It's three basic for a counter spell, right? However, if you have a turn where you're not really doing anything, and you have extra mana, like early on, right? You're ramping up, just pay two, and you foretell it, put it face down on your foretell token. Then later on, you got two mana, but boom, boom, counter spell. Basically, basically, it's awesome. Very good and standard. To have a two mana counter anything spell. You know what I mean? Two mana counter anything is really good. That's cool snow covered planes. A little bit of a weird art. We have Blessing of Frost. It's a snow sorcery. Okay. X plus one comes among. Any number of creatures you control, or X is the number of snow spent to cast this spell. So up to four. Then draw a card for each creature with power four or greater. Okay. The Boreal Outrider. Whenever you cast a creature spell, if. Whenever you cast a creature spell, if snow of any of that spell's colors was meant to cast it, it enters with the plus one on it. We got Tergrid Shadow. Each player sacrifices two creatures. This goes right in there with the Tergrid deck. Four talent. Sacrifice it, sacrifice it. Ooh, Valkyrie Sword. What's this do? Hmm. Two mana. Valkyrie Sword enters the battlefield. You may pay five. If you do, create a four four. White Angel Warrior, Creature Token of Flying, and Vigilance, then a... Okay, well, not bad. So it just basically gives something plus two plus one. Not bad. Not good, not bad. Alright. That's the last of this stack. We got four left after this, y'all. Cutting down to it. Four left. And we've only hit three mythics. What the hell? Four tail. Snow covered island. I like that island. The Viking ship in there. Uh, we gotta be hitting mythics soon. There's gotta be at least one more mythic in here. Rare. Three three. We've got a human berserker. Arnie the broken bow. Broken brow. Human Berserker Haste. He's got bows and he says, For one, you may change Arnie Broken Brow's base power to one plus the greatest power among the creatures you control until end of turn. Not bad. <clears throat> Ooh, 
Narfi Betrayer King. We have the showcase art version of this. Very cool. Bloodline Pretender. It's a shapeshifter. Alright. It's a three mana changeling. Enter the battlefield. Choose a creature type. Whenever another creature type enters the battlefield under your control, put a 1 1 counter on it. And Axe Guard Armory. Boros and that. Sacrifice it. Search for Aro or Bor and do that. Come on now. Come on now. Let's go. Let's fuck it go. Let's get it. Come on. Rhymewood Falls. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Rare. Rare again. It's flipping. Is it a god? It's a god. Yeah, Yorn again. That's our second one of these so far. Cool. Three seasons. Mill three cards. Return up to two. Tiger's Hope Armor cards from a grave out to your hand. And then choose the three cards in your graveyard. Donors. Shovel. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, Gates of Isfa. What's this? Pretty art. That's what it is. Better Shield Warrior. Cool. Cool, 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 Alright, three left. Down to three. Down to three. Ooh, cool looking angel warrior token. We've got a woodland chasm. What's it gonna be? Oh, finally we got a mythic. Is this is this the extra turn one again? Did we get two Aaron's Epiphany? I don't think so. This is Alrend himself. Is this any good? Alrend, God of the Cosmos. Gets plus one plus one for each card in your hand and each foretold card you own in exile. At the beginning of your end step, choose a card type, then reveal the top two cards of your library. Put all cards of the chosen type in your hand and rest bottom of the library in quarter. Okay. It's a lot of text. The reverse side is Haka, Whispering Raven. Two mana for a flying bird. It's 2-3. When it enters, when it deals combat damage to a player, return to return it to its owner's hand and then scry two. And it's not a may; you have to return it. Hmm. It's really cool art. That's interesting. Divine Gambit. Two mana, sorcery, exile target, artifact, creature, or enchantment, and opponent controls. That player may put a permanent card from their hand onto the battlefield. This is risky. I like it. I like it. It's like Path to Exile, but riskier. Red Crown. Okay. Grim Draugr. <clears throat> Two packs. Two packs. The both table packs. Let's see. Let's see what the last packs are. We got key cats to go with that Ezekiel's chariot. Alright, I need more cats. Snow covered planes. Really? This one again? <laughs> <laughs> we keep hitting this one, the Blight Step Pathway. I'm not complaining, but good golly, let me get the blue white one. There's a little different one. <laughs> five of these so far. From this box, we've hit four Blight Step Pathways. That's insane. Is that it too? Yes, that's it. That's funny. Look at the art, though. Now that you can see it without the foil glaring. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Early on, we hit it too. Let's see, check it out. Blight step. As a matter of fact, let's get them all out. Blight step. I know I hit it. 
Oh, you need to go over here. Could have swore I had a fourth one in this box. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> maybe, maybe the other one's the one that I'm thinking of is, is from the old uh, thing. Pre release kit. The creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under control, create a 1 1 human warrior creature token. Not bad. Maja. Frenzied Raider. Whenever you activate Boast, he gets a token or a counter. And then you got Inga Ruin Eyes. Enter the battlefield. Scry 3. Alright. <clears throat> Last one. Last one. Let's see if we can get another mythic. I mean, holy smokes, four mythic box. The ones I'd be seeing online, they're like at six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> we barely at four. Let's see. Let's see. We got this monolith. This is a cool one. Snow covered mountain. Really cool art right there, though. It's like a. Looks like it's about to blow up. Let's see. Let's see. Mythic. Sweet. Five mythic box, y'all. Hell yeah. What's it gonna be? It's a creepy. It's a planeswalker. It's a planeswalker. Which one's the five one? Is it Nico? Is it Kaya? It's not Tybalt. Tybalt's on the back of that. Is it... Oh, it's the extended art Kaya. Sweet. Is it, or is it is that the extended art or is the borderless Kaya? Oh, bro. That's a way to finish. That's how you finish the box. Holy smokes, man. Good finish. Good finish. Wow. Wow. All right, what's it say? Put a ghost form counter on a one target non-creature tokens. Non-token creatures. It gains when this creature dies or is put into exile, return it to its owner's hand and create a 1 1 white spirit token with flying. Negative 3, exile target, non land permanent. Negative 7, you get an emblem with. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may cast a legendary spell from your hand, from your graveyard, or among cards you own in exile without paying its mana cost. Kaya, the inexorable. Hell yeah! Sweetness. And we got this guy. This is the second one of these we've hit. Nice. Reaper and the Outrider. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. What's our spice looking like? We've got these looking looking like bad mamma gemma cards. We got Kaya. We got Allrand, Allrand's Epiphany, which gives us extra turn. We've got Vorinclex. Vorinclex! Can you say Vorinclex? Hell yeah! Fire Rectory and Praetor! We got all kinds of pathways. We did get the one we wanted though, which is the blue and white, even though it wasn't the same color. What else we got that we want? We got Turgrid. Oh, man, we got another Berserker. We got Jara. We got two Sanctums, one foil, one non foil. Tibble's Trickery. A Fin the Fangbearer. Giving everybody poison counters. We got the World Tree. In search of greatness, we got the hinge gate, we got a Seekus chariot, making kitty cats everywhere. We got the Kraken. I think we got a good box. We got Bark Channel Pathway. Didn't even realize that. Waking up trolls. This goes over here. We got we got oh yeah, we got we got the 
Varagoth, Blood Sky Sire. I think we've got some some top rares. We've got Cosmos Elixir, Blood in the Sand. We freaking nailed it. What about foil rares? We got this foil rare, this foil rare, this foil rare. Was that three foil rares? We extended out foil rare. We got this Yeti. Gotta love the Yeti. Yeah, three foil rares out of this box. Cannot complain. I think I think it was a really good box. Probably a home run. I didn't think about it. even though. We only pulled five mythics. I say only five mythics. That's being greedy. But yeah, our mythics that we got. These two especially are spicy. Anyways, uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. All right, down, uh, down there, down there. You can click my picture right there. Check out the uh, the videos here. Where are the videos over here? Leave comments below. Share it. All right. Tell everybody this is high. All right. Hey, check out this new Viking set, you guys. I'll talk to you guys next time when I open these uh, set booster and the uh, bundle. Hey, Liam, leave. Love you guys. Later.